So welcome back to Wargear Reviews for day three of the Qualcomm Tech Summit, Snapdragon Summit. I'm still here in Hawaii and they just unleashed another beast, the Qualcomm HCX, which is a computer platform or compute platform. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So stick around, I'm gonna summarize this for you guys. And uh, there's a fat kid over there holding the fish. about here is a new computer processor from Qualcomm they've actually progressed further ahead than their competition and this is in fact the world's first seven nanometer manufactured process processor in a laptop computer so like the Snapdragon 855 this new 8CX is actually the biggest jump forward in computer processing technology that Qualcomm have ever had so a massive leap forward again in two particular areas we're talking about energy efficiency, power, and performance. So let's start with power. So this Snapdragon is actually 60% more efficient than this year's 2018's Snapdragon 850. And when we talk about battery life, Qualcomm have said up to 25 hours use out of one charge on one of these computers. I guess the battery size is gonna be a factor in this, so don't quote me on that one. I guess it depends on the OEMs. But something you'll definitely see is Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4 Plus, which is gonna allow your computer to charge really, really quickly. There's nothing worse than having a sort of old school laptop. And I know, because I still use an Apple Mac, which runs out of battery after about four hours, trying to find a charge point or someone with a charger, it's a real nightmare. Let it rip, Jerry. Internet and power flying in. So with this kind of battery life and quick charge 4, hopefully you won't be tethered to the wall that often. And that's cool. So let's talk about the CPU, the new CPU in this Snapdragon 8 XC, which Qualcomm said, not in their own words, actually outperforms the comparable Intel U processor by 50%. So that's a really bold statement. I can't wait to see this in action. If it's that good, there's a few companies in trouble. So now let's talk about the graphics. There's a new GPU inside, it's the Adreno 680, and it supports second gen HDR playback, as well as playback to two 4K monitors. So in a work setting, for example, you can output your presentation in beautiful 4K to two monitors, or more importantly, if you're a gamer, why not put your screen across two monitors in 4K, in each of them? So that's 8K, that's pretty cool. It's 2018, people like to play games, people like to do work on the go. It's not like the old days where kids sat around playing with fishies. So now let's talk about connectivity. So the first generation of these new computers will probably be using the X24 LTE modem. That's not a bad thing because basically what this modem does is it allows you to receive up to two gigabits per second download speeds over LTE. So all you need to do is put your SIM card in the computer or get a dedicated one and you can connect to these LTE networks and get super fast speeds pretty much anywhere. But then something a little bit more exciting is the new Snapdragon X50 modem, which is gonna allow you to get 5G on an always on PC, no matter where you are. Now we're talking about blistering fast speeds, direct to your computer. You don't have to be tethered to a modem or a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can literally be anywhere, as long as it's 5G around, and get amazing speeds on your always on PC. That is really, really, really cool. So that's it for my summary of today's announcements. The Qualcomm HCX Compute platform sounds really, really awesome. I hope I can get my hands on one of these computers when they're released. I'm particularly interested to see how good the 5G ones are, but two gigs LTE, that's also awesome. Really exciting stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick summary video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Hulk smash that subscribe button. And uh, me and the fat kid with the fish, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the sun a little bit.
next one. Love you, likes. Thank you.